Sup YouTube, this is Slide 8 Fry here. So, um, I am still without my computer, <clears throat> and that sucks, yes, but, um, yeah, at some point I'll fix it. I mean, I'm back working for DoorDash again, and I'm doing much better financially, and if all it is is just the power source, and I just gotta either replace the power cord or the battery or both, um, it's not gonna be that expensive. A lot more affordable than re replacing the entire computer. Damn it, I sneezed recently. I'm having allergies. Should have taken my allergy pill, but uh, anyway. I would rather not continue to record reactions this way, but I actually had some nice feedback last time. And, um... Yeah, just checking. I actually had some nice feedback last time. <clears throat> Uh, when I record a reaction to Angry Video Game Nerd, when he was going over the Castlevania games once again, um, talking about some games he did not mention back in 2009. So, you know, some people said that it looked good. So I was like, okay, you know what? Cool. I'm not going to make these a lot, especially since the main draw of my YouTube channel is obviously my Johnny Depp shorts and more recently my Christopher Walken shorts as well. You know, the timing of this works pretty well, too. You see, I'm finally going to trial against Billy Mitchell. So, um, I've actually reacted to quite a number of videos of Carl Jobs when he talks about Billy Mitchell. All of which have been on my computer before I had these problems with my computer. And uh, just yesterday was when uh, Donald Trump was convicted of all 34 counts in regards to... Um, <clears throat> Uh, how was it worded? Uh, falsifying business records to cover up hush money he paid to a porn star. Um, and I don't n remember all the details. It had something to do with affecting the outcome of the 2016 election. But um, I don't want to get into an argument over that in the comment section. That's not what this video is about. I already made a short about it yesterday and a community post. And if you want to comment about that uh, verdict, only comment it on those posts. Do not comment it here. I'll remove the comment. I do not like having political stuff in anything I upload that has nothing to do with politics. I typically do whatever I can to avoid posting anything political to my channel nowadays, especially since I have a much bigger following than I used to have. Politics causes arguments. It divides people. <clears throat> people get into fights and harass and even bully people over it, and uh, that's not something I'm about. <clears throat> so, don't comment anything political on these posts. Notice that I only stated the fact of the trial, that the jury made that decision. I didn't state my opinion on what the jury said. I didn't state my opinion on the trial. I didn't state my opinion of the former president. I just stated the facts. So you cannot claim anything against me on this video or else your comment will be removed. So focus on the subject at hand, which I noticed, I just realized the irony because I'm not doing it right now. Let's watch this video and see. Uh, Carl Jobs has in the past talked about how Billy Mitchell filed a lawsuit against him and Carl Jobs was able to get some help and hire some good lawyers to fight for him and uh, this is going to be interesting <clears throat> <clears throat> Billy Mitchell had to settle with Twin Galaxies but Billy Mitchell lost people who are Mitch Mitchell shills will claim he won because you can find his high scores if you use the Wayback Machine but those aren't official those are from back in the day before people found out he was cheating. And when you look up the actual Twin Galaxies websites and look them up with how they're supposed to look, which is the normal way if you just go to the website, you won't see his scores. You only see it with the Wayback Machine. So that doesn't count. They settled and therefore still confirmed that he didn't legitimately get those high scores. Now let's continue. 
A bitter war of Donkey Kong has exploded with controversy over a high score making it all the way to a Queensland courtroom. An American video game champion is suing a Brisbane YouTuber over cheating claims. Hello, you absolute legends. As many of you know, back in 2021, con artist of the century Billy Mitchell sued me for defamation, claiming damages of almost half a million dollars. For almost three years, this ridiculous lawsuit has dragged on, and for the past year, I've been desperately trying to get a trial date as soon as possible. The sooner we can go to trial, the sooner this will all be over and we can all move on. But every step of the way, Billy has been doing everything in his power to delay trial as much as possible. You would think it would be the opposite way. Billy is the plaintiff. He's the one that's supposed to be desperate for the court to step in and give him a resolution. But no, he's the one always running away. In fact, he got so bad that even Australian news outlets were reporting on the fact that Billy was saying he couldn't attend trial when we were asking him to. <laughs> However, thankfully, a trial date has recently been set by the judge. As it stands, Billy and I will be going to trial starting September 16, and the trial is scheduled for six days. This is only four months away, and personally, I cannot wait. This has already gone on far too long and is a huge waste of everyone's time and money, but it does look like we will get a resolution pretty soon, which is great news. Now, when I announced this on Twitter, a lot of people had questions. Is it possible that me and Billy will settle before trial? Billy settled with Twin Galaxies earlier this year and everyone hated that. Is it possible I might do the same? Everyone wants to see Billy lose, but is he going to just wriggle his way out once again? What will happen if Billy loses? Will there be any repercussions? What happens if he wins? In this video, I will answer these questions. Plus, we will take a quick look at a few of the things we will be arguing about in court. And some of the things Billy is trying to claim are insane. For example, and I swear to God this is real, Billy is trying to claim that he was never banned from Twin Galaxies for cheating. Yes, the guy who was banned from Twin Galaxies for cheating and sued Twin Galaxies for $10 million because they banned him for cheating is claiming in his lawsuit against me that he was never banned from Twin Galaxies for cheating. The lies never stop. And this is why trial is going to be so exciting. All of this will go before the judge, and it will be epic. Or, as I asked before, will Billy be able to weasel his way out? Let's find out. I really hope you enjoy. Now, Legends, we are all huge Billy Mitchell fans here, and I know most of you are wondering, <laughs> how on earth does Billy maintain such beautiful hair and skin? Well, I don't know Billy's secret for sure, so I can only assume it's because he's using today's video sponsor, Geology. Geology is the bee's knees when it comes to looking and smelling your absolute best. Personally, my skin is super oily, so I need to use Geology's everyday face wash or my face looks and feels gross. Plus, I use their nourishing eye cream because I have massive black eyes from not getting enough sleep. But if you have problems with dry skin or acne, Geology is perfect for that too. Plus, they have a whole range of products, including body washes, deodorants, and hair shampoos and conditioners, and they all smell incredible. The process is super simple. Just take the 30-second quiz, and Geology will send a personalized routine right to your door. And right now, you can get 100% off your first order. Yes, that is a free trial of their award-winning skincare routine. All you need to pay is the $4.95 shipping. Plus, they will give you an additional 50% off an extra product of your choice. Just click the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen and use code CarlJobs100. Ah, this is an amazing things. offer, so don't miss out. It's when Billy Mitchell hard, settled with Twin Galaxies back in January, the entire world wept. What we all want more than anything is for Billy to have his ass handed to him in court. We <laughs> yeah, want to see a real well. bona fide loss. Honestly, at this point, Billy's lawsuit against me is the world's last chance to see this epic defeat happen. If Billy loses to me, it will be devastating for multiple reasons, which I will get into shortly. So this is really important that it does go to trial, and I do my very best to serve Billy the loss he so desperately deserves. But he has settled before, and not just with Twin Galaxies, with the YouTuber Apollo Legend as well. And at both times, the public was very upset. Is there any chance the same might happen with me? The answer is almost certainly no. There is a Ow. big difference between Billy's lawsuits in America and his lawsuit against me, which is in Australia. Okay. In America, even if you win as the defendant, there is no guarantee you'll get any of the court costs back. You might have to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars defending yourself, and when you win, you get absolutely nothing. 
This is why in America, settling is a very tempting resolution. And this is why Twin Galaxies decided to settle. It was just a lot cheaper. Okay. In Australia, things are different. Here, almost always, the loser is ordered to pay the core cost of the winner. I'm pretty confident that I'm going to win. So from my perspective, it seems silly to settle because I believe I will be successful and I believe that Billy will be ordered to pay back most of my costs. It's not 100% of my costs, however. The judge can award standard costs or indemnity costs. Standard cost okay. is more common, and usually the winning party would get back around 60 to 70 percent of their costs. But in some circumstances, the judge can award indemnity costs, which would be up to 95 percent of costs incurred. If I do win, I think indemnity costs are more likely, for reasons which I won't go over in this video. But in any case, the most important thing to realize <laughs> is that this lawsuit, including trial, will have cost me around half a million dollars. Mm. This means if Billy loses, he will almost certainly be required to pay me hundreds of thousands of dollars to cover my expenses. This is obviously a big deal, and yeah, I would be definitely. stupid to accept any settlement that didn't also include the payment of all of my costs, yeah. given that I think the judge will award them to me at trial. So the chances of me and Billy settling before trial are extremely low, and I don't foresee any circumstance in which that happens. Billy can't just drop the lawsuit either. If he does try to run away before trial or simply avoids it, he will lose by default and will still okay. need to compensate me for my expenses. This lawsuit will go to trial, and the only way for Billy to avoid it is to simply lose before that even happens. <laughs> if I were Billy, I would be shitting myself because if he loses, yeah. he will lose big. And right now, things aren't looking good. In saying that, nothing is certain in the legal system, and there is good also point. a non-zero chance that somehow Billy wins. If that happens, I would need to pay back some of his costs, though it would almost certainly be on the standard costs basis. I don't know what Billy has spent so far, but based on the poor quality of work by his lawyers, it's probably less than half of what I've spent on mine. Hmm. And while my loss seems unlikely, I would be an idiot if I didn't prepare for it. I've been privileged enough to have a lot of financial help from members of the public and people like Notch, who have donated a tremendous amount of money, but this only covers my own legal expenses. It doesn't cover any of the damage I would have to pay or any of the legal costs Billy has incurred. This might end up being hundreds of thousands of dollars on top of what I've already spent. Again, it's extremely unlikely, but I've done the best I could to earn enough money to survive the worst case scenario. And I'm happy to say that if the worst case scenario does eventuate, me and my family will survive. The lawsuit has taken an extreme mental toll on me, and it's affected this channel as well. I'm not free to just make the videos I want to make. Whenever I make a video, I have to consider the lawsuit, and if the video will be popular, enough to cover my expenses and mm. the lawsuit takes up so much of my mental energy and attention it's hard to think about anything else that's one of the reasons i make so many billy mitchell videos i spend so much time researching billy for the sake of my own defense that it's hard to work on other projects i do the best i can but a lot of the time i just try to kill two birds with one stone and take what i've learned about billy to make videos and use that to fund my legal expenses and prepare for the worst now not to mention um as far as I'm concerned, Carl Jobs' most popular videos over the last couple of years and now probably are when he talks about Billy Mitchell. Billy Mitchell is a polarizing figure in the video game industry. Yeah, I have YouTube remind me to take breaks. A uh, YouTube app does it every hour. I don't think I've been on the app for an hour, though. I uh, listen to music when I'm working, when I'm driving, so. Anyway, um, the fact is, yeah, the he does get more views that way. And on top of that, what was I going to say? Um, I do believe Carl Jobs will win his trial. I'd be shocked if Billy won. It wouldn't make any sense if he did. Let's take a look at some of the things I will be arguing at trial. Okay. Obviously, I'm not going to cover everything here. And no, don't worry, don't I'm do not that. going to spill any secrets or give away any strategies. Yeah, you can't everything do that. I mention here will be public information and already known to both parties. Okay. There are multiple ways to defend a defamation claim in Australia that go beyond just proving what you said was true or that it wasn't defamatory. One of them is to say that Billy didn't have a good reputation to begin with, so it's not possible that I caused him any damage. Before I published the video in question, it was already well established that Billy was a cheater. 
Twitter. He had already been sued for fraud by Twin Galaxies, and I had already covered all of this in previous videos. Yeah. Billy himself has already proven that his reputation was destroyed long before I ever talked about him. Good and point. he proved this by suing Twin Galaxies for $11 million in two states. He sued Apollo Legend for $1 million, and he sued Jeremy Young, Jeff Harris, and the Donkey Kong Forum for $3 million. In all of those lawsuits, he claims that his reputation was destroyed by their statements. He can't have his cake and eat it too. He can't say that Twin Galaxies destroyed his career in his lawsuit in America and then come over to Australia and say that his reputation was amazing and I destroyed it once again. That doesn't make any sense, no, but that's exactly what Billy is doing. If I can establish that Billy had a bad reputation to begin with, it doesn't matter if I can or can't prove any of my claims against him, because you can't damage what is already completely destroyed. But in saying that, <laughs> there is a lot I can prove, and yeah. I will attempt to do so at trial. I will prove that Billy was publicly exposed for cheating, and that he was banned by Twin Galaxies because of his cheating. Everyone will hear this claim and think there is no possible way Billy would try to deny this, because it's an obvious fact. Well, believe it or not, he is denying this. Billy is claiming that he was never publicly exposed for cheating and that he wasn't banned by Twin Galaxies. What's hilarious about this is that Billy argues in his own court documents from his American lawsuits that Twin Galaxies banned him for cheating and it caused him to get roasted publicly. I mean, it's literally the reason for his lawsuits against them. Yes. So he argues one thing in America and then argues the complete opposite in Australia. I don't know why he done. thinks this is a good idea no. because I'm just going to use his own file to show that he is a deceptive liar who's trying to play both sides. Yeah. I'm also going to argue that he expressed joy at the thought of the YouTuber Apollo Legend's death. This is obviously a terrible thing. And not only did he imply he was going to smile and giggle if Apollo Legend died, but he also said that he hoped it was true. This was in 2018, which was two years before Apollo Legend actually died. At this time, Billy had only heard that he had died from his wife, and he was gleefully texting about it to his friends. Billy's defense to this is that Apollo Legend didn't die until 2020, so Billy only thought Apollo Legend had died, which makes his text okay. Yes, this really is Billy's defense. I'm also Please going to show me. that Billy abuses the legal system to try and silence people and force them to recognize his scores. For example, when he threatened Guinness World Records with a lawsuit if they didn't reinstate his scores, and they ended up folding. You may be asking why any of this is relevant, and it's because it all damages his reputation. It doesn't matter if he can show that I was incompetent Guinness World Records with a lawsuit if it's okay. Yes, this really is Billy's defense. I'm also going to show that Billy abuses the legal system to try and silence people and force them to recognize yeah, his scores. For example, when he threatened Guinness World Records with a lawsuit if they didn't reinstate his scores, and they ended up folding. You may be asking why any of this is relevant, and it's because it yes, all damages his cowards. reputation. It doesn't matter if he can show that I was incorrect on one thing. Even if he were to prove that I was wrong about a specific claim, there are many other claims that were true and also damaged his reputation. So as a whole, any incorrect claim I may have made didn't cause any extra damage. There are multiple barriers that Billy has to get through in order to be successful. He has to show that something that I said wasn't true and that it was defamatory. He then needs to prove that his reputation was damaged by that specific claim and has to prove those damages. From my side, I'm going to argue that what I said wasn't defamatory, that Billy's reputation was already terrible and that I've said so many damaging things about him that were true and that I can prove that even if he did show that one thing I said was wrong, it didn't make a difference. And there are other very important things on top of this that I won't discuss until after trial happens. But I assure you that I will break it all down in more detail once it's over. One thing people have also asked is what happens if Billy loses and decides not to pay my costs? He is in America after all, and this would be an Australian judgment. Well, mm -hmm. thankfully, the state of Florida where Billy lives does recognize foreign judgments. So we would okay. be able to go after him through the Florida court system. Ow. It's a bit more work for us, but the important takeaway is that he won't be able to escape. That's and cool. besides, if Billy did try to run and avoid paying, that's going to stick with him forever. First, his whole persona as a successful businessman would be destroyed yep. because we would all know he actually has no money. And secondly, <laughs> I would never, ever let the world forget what he did.
The world needs Billy to lose. Yay. Not only would Billy Take need to pay down. me a lot of money if he loses, but we will also have an official ruling by a judge on a lot of these issues. This is because this particular trial will be decided by a judge and not a jury. So a judge is going to examine all of the evidence and a judge will give his ruling and opinion on all of these issues. So if a judge rules that Billy was exposed for cheating, this opinion will be cemented in writing and will carry a lot of weight. If Billy loses this lawsuit, the judge's opinion is going to be very damaging for him. And that's another reason why I think it was very stupid for Billy to have started these proceedings. Yep. This is probably my last update on my own lawsuit until the trial. The next few months are obviously yeah. going to be very stressful for me and my family. So I'm probably mm. going to work a bit less and will try to relax and distract myself as much as possible. I would mm, love any point. and all support until then. You can support me by clicking on my videos when you see them, by leaving a comment, by not skipping my sponsors, and by sending some good energy over my way. I really appreciate it. September 16, mark your calendars. This is going to be big. Thank you so much for watching, you legends. Yeah. I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next video. All right. Good luck, Carl Jobst. You deserve to win this. I keep getting this, the Real Gems video recommended to me, and I like the Real Gems. I like his analysis on The Simpsons, but, like, I have no interest in watching, you know, a retrospective on Season 18. <laughs> I don't even remember if I even watched season 18 when that was around. That would be like 2007, I think. I don't think I was really watching The Simpsons at the time. I mean, I watched the movie that came out that year. I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> Simpsons was obviously at its peak in the 90s, and everybody knows that. So, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Um... What was I going to say? Uh, strange things can happen in court. They can. But I would be so shocked if Carl Jobs lost. So shocked if he, if he did. You know, it, it wouldn't make any sense. All the evidence is stacked against Billy Mitchell. Um... <clears throat> I mean, to say that he was, Billy Mitchell was trying to argue that he didn't get banned from Twin Galaxies, even though he literally sued them because they banned him, like, that's just not going to work, you know? It's just, it's just not. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. He, he said one thing and said the other. It's kind of like with the Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard. Amber Heard said that she would donate her, um, the money that she got from the, um, from her divorce with Johnny, she said she would donate millions of dollars to charities, but she never, ever did. And <clears throat> one buffoon argued, oh, well, because she had to pay for the trial. She had already gotten that money from her divorce well over a year before the trial had ever happened. It's not like she, it's not like she knew she was getting sued, you know? So... Um, she had plenty of time to actually donate the money. She just chose not to. It was that moment when people who were like kind of in the middle were like, oh, wow, she's a liar. <laughs> Poor Johnny Depp, you know? <clears throat> so, <clears throat> and of course, there are those shills who love the turd and will always support her. Vast majority of them, probably all of them, maybe there's like a fraction of a percent of them who actually watched the trial but just didn't pay attention. But no, they, they didn't watch the trial. Let's face it, they didn't. T to think that she's innocent and he's guilty is basically meaning that you paid no attention or you don't care about evidence. And unfortunately, there's people like that out there who don't care about evidence and they just side with <clears throat> the person and just always believe them unfortunately there's people like that people like that are people are like that with amber heard people are like that with billy mitchell so <clears throat> anyways um carl jobs should win this trial 
I'm looking forward to September 16th. I don't know if it's going to be broadcast for people to hear, but we'll probably hear about what's going on from like some news reports and stuff like that. I thought that was kind of cool how at the beginning, um, I think it sounded like a British um, newscast, but it probably was an Australian one, I would imagine. I know their accents, they don't really sound similar at all. There's there's a noticeable difference between the two typically, but um, like I thought that was kind of cool that there was a news broadcast talking about it, you know? Um, we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll see how much coverage there could end up being. Anyways, um, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Click that bell icon to add me notifications. And there will be a new Johnny Depp shortcoming. There's going to be a new Christopher Walken shortcoming. And I'm going to try to be more active on my community tab. I know I've been promising this, but I'm going to really try. I'm actually aware that I could schedule community posts in advance. So if I think of something in my head just out of the blue, I'm going to try to, you know, get it down as quickly as I can, like get it down as quickly as I can and just, you know, schedule the post in advance, you know, instead of just being like, oh, I posted this. Oh, I can't post another one right now. I'll have to wait until they're ready. I'll schedule posts in advance. Actually, I'm going to, since you watched this far, there's a quiz I'm going to post that is not Johnny Depp or Christopher Walken related. And I've been planning to post this quiz. I've only told one other subscriber about this but now anybody watching will know the quiz which is unrelated to it because i'm going to post stuff that's not related to giant up and christopher walken so i have more stuff to post the quiz is going to be asking the question what is the most populated city in the bay area now please don't comment that because then that, that might actually give away the answer and uh, the four i'll put down four cities as the answer um, don't comment that please, because I want that to be, I want you guys to wait until that quiz is posted before saying anything. I know the answer to the question. I mean, I'm from the Bay Area. I'm actually from the North Bay. I'm an hour North of San Francisco, but I know the answer to the question. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later for more community posts as well as um what as well as you know more shorts